Hello everyone, this is Sherman here from TechOS and today I'm going to be taking a look at using the iOS 11 iPad Flick keyboard. Now, this is a feature in iOS 11 that's been added to help you make more use of your iPad and to help you be able to type quicker and more effectively on your iPad. So, this is a feature which is more useful on the smaller iPads, so the 10.5 uh, inch and the 9.7 inch iPads. Um, it is available partly on the 12.9 inch iPad Pro, however, it's more useful on the smaller ones and you'll find out why in the video. So basically if I go into pages here I've just got a blank document. The way the flick keyboard works is that it allows me to identify keys which have multiple symbols assigned to them. So in, case, in this case of the case of this iPad here I've got the number of keys at the top and I've got a few of these punctuation keys over here and what it allows me to do is allow me to flick down on them to access the secondary character. So I think on Android you have to tap and hold um, I think this is a much better way, so what I do is if I want the pound sign, I just get the free and I just pull down on it and it will type a pound sign instead. If I wanted speech marks instead of an inverted comma, pull down and it would get that. So you can kind of get used to where, where all the different things are, so I can do open and close brackets for example. So this is obviously a useful thing because instead of having to go into the symbols to go back to and forth to find everything if you've got the keys there then you can use it like that now the reason why it's more useful on the smaller ipads is the keyboard on the smaller ipads don't have the number at the top so i think all of the main keys have some sort of other character associated to them so whether that's brackets speech marks numbers or any other type of symbol they all have something assigned to them so it's easier and more effective on those devices than it is on this iPad but it does work on this iPad. Now if you don't wish to have that switch on perhaps you find yourself accidentally activating the feature and typing the wrong characters too often then you can turn it off. If you just go into your settings and go to general here and let me go back general um, go to keyboard and then here you'll see enable flicks if I just switch that off and then if I go back into pages um, and I pull down on number three, you'll see it won't do anything. I have to tap it and it will only do three. If I want the pound sign, I have to go back into here and find it like that. And then I can obviously go back and turn it on if I want to. I generally tend to keep them on because I find it quite useful. Um, but obviously if you accidentally activate them frequently, then you want to have that off. But anyway, that's it for this video. Just a very quick tip on how you can sort of use the iOS 11 flick keyboard feature. Something useful if you type a lot with the on-screen keyboard on your iPad. If you've got any questions or comments on anything in this video, then do get in contact with me using the details that are in the description of this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and also please do subscribe by hitting the logo in the middle of the screen. And also do consider watching the videos either side of that logo. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.